So what is up guys, uh, today we have a patch update, we've got uh, the Angry Koala version has just come out, so I thought I'd go through the all the change logs and um, talk you through some of the changes for the Angry Koala update, this is the Christmas update, so um, yeah basically I've got to say a, first, a few things first, um, most of your ships on your, on your new, um, on your old characters will be completely deleted and restarted. Um, and they suggest that you make a new character. I've just gone and made a new character. And if you open up a LAN server, um, you can open basically you can open up a LAN server, open up Starbound twice, and then you can drop trade all your good items um, from your first. So you can drop trade all your good items from your first, from your original account onto your new account. That's what I did. So basically, I've just got all my good stuff on my uh, new account. I made a glitch this time just. You know, just for a change. Um, so I'll talk you through some of the changes. So they have added sky rails. This was originally a mod, uh, a mod by Appjums. I'm not sure much about it. I've seen uh, a couple of demos on it. It's basically like you slide around everywhere and weird stuff like that. That looks interesting. That looks cool. Um, what else have they had? They have added a brand new weather system, uh, moddable weather, new environment, so and more mod access. I love the mod access they're doing here. Hydrophobic objects are destroyed by all um, liquids. That means basically, I'm pretty sure this means if you chuck water down somewhere, and you've got I don't know anything that's not it shouldn't that's not used to water, it'll destroy it. Um, trees can now be planted. Uh, these are saplings and stuff like that. That's referring to saplings. Um, what I did know is I wa I watched the stream. There was um, Bart is it Bart Zeus whatever his name is, one of the developers uh, was streaming him coding and I noticed that he uh, was streaming the sapling so that's something I already knew but it's cool. Um, monsters have new behaviours. Uh, critical items stay on the ground longer. I've added lots of examples of this. I was um, accidentally chucked the uh, item on the floor and I was lagging out. Uh, I was uploading a video to YouTube at this time and I was on a server. I checked and I clicked Q and accidentally chucked my item on the floor and I tried to pick it up but I was lagging so I couldn't get to the item. Then it, it went within about five seconds. It, it really was annoying. So critical items stay on the floor for longer. Um, you must be orbiting a planet to set it as your home world. I think most people are orbiting anyway. But you know, uh, there's free teleportation to your home planet from the ship's teleporter. That is absolutely awesome. I love that. Um, adds acid rain. I saw that also being coded. Basically, you can be stood out there. It could be raining. It will be doing damage to you. Basically, meteor showers. Can't wait for that. Uh, what else? Water collecting during storms. Um, made species mods easier to combine with one each other. So more mod support again. They've added key signature and key signature changes for the ABC system. Not quite sure what that is, but um, disabled speed limit for default projectiles to fix inaccurate bullets. I'm guessing that's something to do with guns. Some bullets being inaccurate and stuff. Um, there's new craft craftable turrets based on health Hellfire's mod. Not sure what that is, but they sound really cool. Um, you can now land on asteroid fields based on Hints mod. So I love this. They've been using the community's mods and putting it into the game. It's basically what they're saying there. So they've added something from another mod there. Um, uh, tech now has descriptive instructions, so the text explained. Um, tons of Christmas stuff. That's a big update. Seeing as this is obviously the Christmas update, they'll be changing that soon, probably after Christmas. So, get all your rare Christmas items and stuff now. Um, Poss no longer one hit kill you. If you know what a Poss is, Poss is um, if you ever go into system, if you ever go into a sewage system, you got that little poo, literally a poo, and it one hits you pretty much every time. It no longer does that. Um, you can no longer hold breath on moons or asteroid fields without the proper equipment. I like that a lot. You've got to make some kind of uh, helmet, I guess, from that. Better fix full damage. New barren planets, uh, perfect for building. I haven't, I haven't actually um, seen any of these barren planets yet. I've literally just installed this update and I'm reading it out to you. But I'm not sure about that. Um, gravity now varies from planet to planet. That's cool. Some planet backgrounds are improved. Also cool. Um, existing biomes can appear with different liquid types. Hmm. You can now craft racial flags to show that you've been to a planet. Mark your territory there. NPCs switch to melee weapons up cl close. I think that's really good because that means they can't projectile you from a mile away and uh, or really close and knock you back and stuff. 
more random encounters. I'm guessing that's with stuff like the big boss, well, the middle bosses. Um, POS, that pill in the sewage, can now be c captured. Wiring stations can now be built to access tons of different wiring tools. Wiring, uh, I believe, is a bit like redstone from Minecraft. If you played Minecraft, I was looking at the, um, the when he was streaming. When um, that developer was streaming, I saw him coding that. Um, fixed mech legs. Uh, mech is the human mech. It would basically look like it was floating, so they fixed that. Um, it says tons of server improvements, and then it says dash more. So that was just a rundown of all the changes. Uh, I think this will probably be my only video of today, I'm afraid, guys, because I'm working to get back up. I mean, obviously, I've, I've cheated a bit. I've given myself all the good items that will help me level up really, really quickly. But, um, yeah, still going to take me some time to get back up to Sector X. Um, so I will be doing that. And if you're not planning on restarting your... Um, on restarting your server, I would uh, restarting your character. I would strongly suggest it because you might come across errors or anything like that, and it's not a big deal. I find it fun having to you know go through everything again. It, it makes it more interesting. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you all later. Have a great day.